Hi there, it's Connie Ray. Thank you for joining me for today's crafty tutorial. This is the little craft um, project we're doing today. It's a gorgeous white and grey smoky slate little box. Isn't it delightful? Stamped all over with a gorgeous little um, sentiment on it and a bow. <laughs> Fingers crossed the bow will work. Um, so I will show you how to make this little little gift box. It is so adorable. I love the colours. It's so fresh and crisp. It looks really good in real life. Um, now you're going to uh, need some Whisper White. I have used Whisper White cardstock and I've used the extra thick. I preferred it for this little box. I just do. You don't have to but that's what I prefer. You can also do this from Whisper White bottom with um, the lid being um, designer series paper whichever you choose but I found that just stamping all over this gorgeous little box with this little flourish um, just oh, I just I just love it okay the um, stamp set that I've used is the feathery friends hostess set which is this one here and I've used this flourish here now what I've done is I've this little bit of the flourish was just annoying me because it was a little bit too long for my liking and stamping so I've just cut it off <laughs> um, uh, people do that with the polymer stamps. I know that they do that with the polymer stamps. I've done it with the polymer. I haven't seen it done with the red ones, but anyway, I cut it off because it just works a lot better. So that's what I've done. So you can do that or you can leave it, but I just found a little bit too long in terms of the design that I was trying to get out of it. Now, the cardstock for the base um, measures. Now, the measurements are a little bit tricky, but you do have to just be aware that they're in inches. Um, and in Australian terms, that's a little bit different um, because we, we don't, we do them in centimetres. Um, but anyway, the base is six inches in length. So it's six by 13. Okay, let me go back. The base is four inches by four by 15 sixteenths. So the base uh, on the short side is four by 15 sixteenths. On the long side, it is 6 by 13 sixteenths and you score at one and a half on all four sides. For the lid we've got five inches and seven eighths on the long side and on the short side we have got four inches scored at one inch on all four sides. Now that's the sizing of the box itself and the and the size that you want to construct this base and lid. Now for the design, I have used, as I said, that little flourish with some smoky slate. So I've got this little flourish here and I'm using smoky slate to stamp my image around on both the base and the lid. So I have just covered it. Um, I will just pop some messy paper I can mess up rather than messing up my work surface for you. So I'll just go around and stamp. Now I just stamped randomly. I found that this does go in a lovely round pattern if you let it go its own way. My ink is running out. Um, but you know you can stamp it whichever way you like. If you cut off the tail, it just seems to work better. For me anyway, it did. But, you know, some people might like the tail. Well, I was a bit heavy with that one. But I just found that it just was in the way. Just kept, it's just a little bit too long. But it's a beautiful design either way. So just keep playing with your pattern. There's no particular rhyme or reason that you do it the way that you do. You just do it. This is my lid, so oh, really messed it up. I think I need to re-ink my ink pad. Of course, you can do this in many colours. It doesn't have to be grey and white, but it looks beautiful in grey and white. It's just so crisp and fresh. That's what I love about it. This one can go around here. Yes, I think I've been using this grey and white a little bit too much. But I do love the grey and white. It's just so fresh. And one more. 
I think should finish it off. One little squirrel. There we go. Okay, so that's the stamping out done and out of the way. And I do need to re-ink my smoky slate, that's for sure. So um, now I didn't burnish, obviously. Now I'm going to burnish my lines. I have already marked them in. So the base is one and a half all the way around, and this is the base. And then the lid is one inch all the way around in terms of score marks, score lines. Okay, and of course we're going to be cutting up our, um, we'll be notching our notches, swap my glasses over to my big bifocals, um, we'll be notching in on all tabs. All going well. If you're seeing this video, it means it worked. <laughs> so it's a bit frightening sometimes with these measurements because I think to myself, no, that's not right. That's not right. Sorry if I'm going out of camera, folks, but it's just notching. If I had a video camera, I would be pausing it and coming back after I've done all my notching. But because I'm using a handy cam sort of thing, um, I don't have any software where I can edit. But, you know, give me time. I'll get there. But you can always um, do it with me or you can just sit through the long process. Okay. So all going well. Now I would use Tombow on um, this because I like it to be really strong and stay put. So you can use whatever glue that you're comfortable with, obviously, but Tombow is the one for me, especially for the, um, the extra thick cardstock. I want it to stay put when I put it into position. Nice and neat lines, nice and tidy. Just looks a little bit off. Not anymore. So that's my lid. So I'll leave that to sit. And this is my base. Might look like I'm putting on a lot of glue but I'm actually not putting on a lot of glue I'm putting the glue on and then I'm moving it around the area so don't think that there's oodles of glue there because even though it's white you can't see it but I'm just placing it on and just maneuvering it around so that um, it sticks all over per se okay it's always good to have a wipe on hand as well because you will it is white and you will get it all over your hands and leave marks on your box and you don't want to do that, especially when it's beautiful. Oh, look, there's a bit there on the box. I'm just going to wipe that off. 
I must have got my big finger in the way. to be nice and flush and neat so that the recipient is um, not going to see any eeldy piggledy lines as they say and there we go and there's the base just wipe my fingers again because I think I've got a bit of glue and I don't want to dirty the box. Oh, okay. That one could probably have done with a bit more glue, but that's okay. And then we just pop this on the top perfectly like that. Isn't that gorgeous? You can't really appreciate it until you sort of like do it yourself and you see it close up, but it just looks great. So the next thing that we ha I have used is um uh, sorry i've used the flourish my stamp set that i used for my sentiment is it's probably on the bottom of my pile here oh no there it is okay is the hello friend and i have used the little sentiment here that says thinking of my friend today and i'm just punching that out i've smoked stamping that with smoky slate I can find my smoky slate on a piece of white cardstock. Definitely need some more ink. I need to re ink my smoky slate. So hopefully it will cooperate. <laughs> yes, it did. All right. And I need my one and three eighths of a circle punch. So I'm just punching that out. And I've also used my scallop punch, and that is one and three quarters of a scallop to pop it onto. But what I have done in terms of, oh, crash bang, um, before sticking it on, I punched a little hole in it, just, just a little corner like so and I've used a uh, cotton ribbon and just threaded through a little bit of the white the wisp white cotton onto my gray backing and then I've just used a dimensional Pop this on the back and then I've just gone over my box and then I've just tied a lovely little bow <laughs> all going well because you know what it's like with bows and cameras they do not like each other I can assure you this one is no different so hopefully you can tie really nice bows okay there we go oh look it's not bad not half bad And, you know, you always seem to waste so much. That drives me insane. I hate wasting my materials because they're so lovely. Okay. Oh, look at that bow. That's not bad. <laughs> the bow queen is on my side. Maybe. Ew, maybe. I spoke too soon. Nearly. I admire people who can tie bows really well. On camera. Nearly. Mm, okay. All right. So then I've just, and let me just cut that off first. I'll get myself all worked up here. And and so I decided to try and whip this underneath, and I'm not sure if it really worked or not, but I kind of liked it, and then I didn't like it afterwards, but I do like it now, so. 
It's a bit weird, isn't it? But anyway, I just looped this into the bow so that it added some um, visual effects to my sentiment. And then I popped my little sentiment on. I think I'm all um, all ribbon today. I tell you, it is way too much of it. But anyway, it's all good. Tuck that under there so that it <laughs> it's supposed to stick there and just be a bow, but it's not going to cooperate. But anyway, look, it doesn't matter. You can get the general gist of it. Okay, so it's a bit bowy, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at it. It doesn't like me at all. All right, let me see if I can quickly fix it. Tuck that under there. If I hold that down, one loop. And when you learnt to tie your shoelaces, it was always a struggle, wasn't it? And just pop that one through there. And, oh, I think we've saved by the bell. Almost saved by the bell. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's all right, but, you know, could do with a bit of a friend, I think. But anyway, we'll leave it at that. Okay. So, and you can move it down to wherever you want. And then finally, I added some embellishments. Oh, there they are. To my box and I use the very light ones of the um, these ones uh, I can't remember what they're called now but they're in our catalogue and let me find my I can't find anything okay this will do and I think hmm, what color should I put with it green um, oh I'm not with the little ice blue ones I think so I just added some of these into the little spots where um, there was room to add them and made it look really pretty. And there you go. That's the lovely little box. Isn't it cute? Can you see those little embellishments? Aren't they cute? I didn't, they haven't got any colour in, but they have kind of got a diamond, a diamond effect. You can use pearls, but I, I actually like these. These are pretty. They're very gorgeous to look at. So there you go. Thank you very much for your patience, and thank you for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed that tutorial. It is a lovely one. The box is a little bit tricky. You do need to practice it, but you can do it, because if I can do it, you can do it, because I am hopeless at measurements and directions and boxes. So um, do give it a go. Uh, don't forget to cut off that little trail bit on the end there because it just doesn't do it any justice at all. But there you go. That's the um, box and that's the stamp set that I used. And I will see you next time for another tutorial um, that hopefully maybe won't involve another box for at least a day or so. <laughs> and a bow. And no bow. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Take care and see you next time. Ciao for now.